guys I am going to film an unboxing for you this time it's slightly different than usual um, I am unboxing something that isn't shoes I know the rarity I know um, this is something that I don't invest in not because I don't want to but because this type of item is a lot more expensive in the luxury scale and you know that I like my luxury so can you see me okay? Because I am getting really bad at the lighting. I would be so grateful if you have any advice. But I am ordering a light. Um, I'm getting the newer one. Um, so if you have any reviews, that would be great. Um, I'm just waiting for my dad to get back because then I can do it with his Amazon account. Let me double check lighting and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've changed the lighting slightly. Um, I don't know if that's any better or not. Um, anyway, yes, back to this. So I'm going to do this unboxing for you today. Um, it is a handbag. Um, now, it's not luxury, luxury brand. I haven't gone and got like a YSL or anything like that because it's just a little bit out of my price range, to be honest. Um, it's something that a girl can dream of. It is my dream to own a Chanel handbag. One day that will happen, but for now, I just like to invest in shoes. I don't have like a day-to-day -day bag that I can kind of wear cross-body, and that's what I was looking for. I'm not in a position at the moment to splash out and buy a luxury handbag as much as I would love to. Um, I know you probably think that's crazy because you're like, you're always buying new shoes, but for example, I'm sure you know, but if you don't, Luxury shoes are like 500, 600 pounds. Luxury handbag are like 1600 pounds. So it's a massive difference and I just can't justify that on my wage. Um, especially when I'm saving for a house at the moment. I think my boyfriend would actually probably leave me. So I have gone for um, Folly Folly. Now I have seen they've been working with bloggers a lot lately and the stuff that they've been coming out with is so beautiful. Um, so although it's not like luxury luxury, it's still a really great brand. And I saw this bag and I've been admiring it for probably two months. I saw it when they had a 20% off deal and I nearly bought it and I didn't. And ever since I've just not been able to stop thinking about it. It came in two colours, so um, there's a black and a red. They currently only had one of the colours left because I couldn't make my mind up which one I wanted. So this sealed the deal for me. I was like, yep, fine, that's the colour I'm going to have. So I bought it. I can't recommend Folly Folly enough. I ordered it within an hour, not even an hour. I'd had an email from them to say that it had been dispatched and then the next day it arrived. Um, it came this morning, um, although they tried to deliver it yesterday and no one was in, and I have, it's now like, what time is it? It's now 20 past three and I'm only just opening it, which has been so difficult for me. So um, anyway, let's get into it. This is how it comes. So I'm going to take the bubble wrap out. It's got my little receipt in there. It's got this gorgeous orange paper, the classic Folly Folly. Oh, they even send you a little bag. I don't even think, I don't even think the bag would fit in the bag. But anyway, you get this little bag and then it comes in this dust bag. I'm so excited to see this because I've not seen it in real life. Oh, it is pretty. Okay, so this is the bag. It is their heart for heart bag. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. So their heart for heart is their um, collection that plays with your heart in Cupid, featuring not one but four hearts to express your deepest feelings of love and tenderness. One heart for love, one heart for beauty, one heart for hope, and one heart for promise. I have just seen as well, so I ordered the last one of these in black, but they have just bought it out in like a really gorgeous pastel pink. So if 
that is for you. I'll show you up close. So the, here we've got the four hearts. And then the crossbody is detachable. How do I even open this? Oh, okay. So you just turn the hearts and the hearts fit through the hole. It's kind of like a... Oh, I see. So it's like black at the front, but the sides are more of a grey black, like a metallic, uh, a metal, gun metal colour. So here I absolutely love the crossbody. Take out the stuffing. Which they really stuffed in well. It's quite spacious, you know. So for a mini bag, it was... So the reason I decided to go for this size is that... Well, number one, it's the only size they did, but I looked at this one and not another size was because I wanted a bag that I could take around to around London as a crossbody and it would just be easy and if I got a big one I know I'd fill it so this way it's more for my essentials and um, I'll show you what it can fit in in a minute I'll have a go so here is the crossbody um, it's it's got the the gold chain detail here and then the leather here the buckle is also um adjustable so you can change how this sits on you i'm just gonna clip that on so this is how it looks i actually absolutely love it i'm gonna just cut everything off because i know i'm not sending this back However, I do really love that pink colour, but this one, the black, just means I can wear it all the time and it will go with pretty much anything. Apart from navy, what do you think about that, guys? Do you like black and navy or is it a big no-no for you? Because it used to be a massive no-no for me. And then as time's gone on, I've seen it done really well. Victoria Beckham, for example, does it really well. And... I feel like she really knows fashion, so if she's wearing black and navy, it kind of kind of changes it a bit for me. Um, but yeah, generally I don't wear black and navy, but it's something I'm going to try and do a bit more often. Um, so yeah, this will go with hopefully everything. I'll show you it up close. So here, I'll just show you like this. This is how it looks. And then unlocks. That's the inside. So as you can see, I've got one like normal pocket. Ooh, out of focus. Of course. Um, so yeah, I've got one normal pocket in here. Then I've got space for all of my stuff. And then I've also got a zip pocket, which is super handy. Um, and... You can wear it, hold on, you can wear it either just like this on its own to make it kind of more of an evening thing or you can wear it cross body. So if I just show you where it comes to and I can adjust that. But yeah, if I, I've got quite small hands but if I put my hand up against it you can kind of see how big the bag is but this is... This is absolutely perfect size for me. This is just what I wanted. Um, so this was £135, which I think is quite a good price for a bag like this. Um, it's especially when you compare it to the bags that you see in Harrods. I really am impressed with Folly Folly lately. It was a brand that I didn't really ever even consider and they have done really well with advertising lately because I've seen it all over the place and it will always pop up on my feeds and on my Instagram. And so yeah, I I don't think I would have bought it otherwise because I wouldn't have even thought about it. Um, I'm, I love it. There's, no, there's nothing that I'm disappointed with. Like the detail stuff, it's really well made. It's looked like a heavy duty bag. I like the material. I'm just wondering if it says on here anything that you might need to know. Yeah, so 
let me know what you think guys let me know if you have purchased um a folly folly bag before and how they um wear i'm excited to give it a go because like i said i don't have a bag like this this will become my everyday bag so i am hoping to get a lot of use out of this so i will keep you posted with how it wears and how impressed or unimpressed i have been with it but first impressions i really love it it's really chic gorgeous i actually saw millie mcintosh had this and i was like well she is nailing fashion at the moment so i had to get it yeah i will keep you posted with how i get on with this guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you again very soon thanks for watching guys bye <laughs>